Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Magneto, and we've got Danny Moonstar in the arena. Round two is over and done with, and we're going to take a look at the leaderboards, see who uh, we recognize. Now, the current arena right now, as you can see there, Onslaught, okay? All I did was run my seven stars there. I'm only going for the five star there. Um, but I finished all those other ones. Um, I still have the basic, which is cable. Uh, and, of course, some of the trials. And then I'll focus on getting the five star. And then round two, we'll see what he goes for round one before I make that decision. But, okay. Um, let's uh, take a look here. Danny Moonstar Arena. Timo, Timomatic, two. Grundleman. That that reminds me of Solomon Grundy for some reason. Juanito. Kitten fat. You know what came to mind? The little tuft on the back of their neck. We were watching a, a nature film and um one of the lions, lionesses, was transporting her uh kittens and it's just so cute to watch them when she grabs them they instantly go into like still mode they don't fight they don't struggle it's like whoop and they just stop it is the cutest thing but yeah stuff just be popping into my head like that when i'm reading names apple green Sue Warrior. Yes. And that made me think of um, the Native American movies of old where they were no joke. Them warriors were no joke. Went up against folks with, with guns and still. It was rough. Burnout Revenge. Okay. Adam Monroe. All right. <laughs> right now, um, I'm actually kind of watching in the background uh, KT1, who is not having a good time in uh, the Battlegrounds because of the AI. We already know he's good, but this AI, really, really annoying. And there's nothing you can really do. That's the thing. You know, you have one fight where the AI plays well and you do well. You use your skills that you've built up and you do well. Then you have another fight. The AI just doesn't want to fire off an attack. Then you finally do fire an attack. You know, maybe you do a heavy and they resist and parry, hit you a couple of times, and that's why you lose. It's not fun. Not fun at all. Um, I'm only doing it because my alliance wants those points. Other than that, I wouldn't. And if I really start getting stressed about it, um, I might have to go. I don't know. All right. That is the Danny Moonstar Arena. I hope that when they give her her uh, buff, she becomes better at countering some things. I heard she was a great counter for um, Nick Fury. I personally haven't experienced that. Okay. So let's hope. Now we got Red Magneto, who I took to rank four, and I kind of knew that Onslaught was coming because they put Magneto in there. A lot of people feel like Magneto is going to be made more obsolete. I don't know. Um, Onslaught seems to be more defensive than offensive, but he's also good offensive. And Magneto seems to be more offensive than defensive. 
So I don't know. Dark Wolf, number one. I'm number one. Congratulations, man. See, sha sha boom. What else we got? Silencer. Wonder Wolf. Uh, Wonder Waif. I saw you in the other arena. You was double dipping. Saitama. Congratulations, man. Magneto is still good, and I think he will remain good for a while, but we'll see. I will, if the if the price is right, I'll be going for um, Onslaught round two uh, as a six star. Time to use up some of my shards so I can get them boosts. Agro man, who's it? Shut up, really? From a sister alliance, okay. Tesla, little chilling. Who's that? Hakze Beck. I hope I didn't say nothing wrong. If I did, I'm sorry. Didn't mean it. Obi Wan Jacoby. <laughs> Cute. That is cute. Oh, and if you guys haven't seen the uh, video, I put up one where I went through Black Cat's kit. And she's good. I like her. I may actually take her up to rank two as a seven star. I took, I think I took the, uh, hey, Pepeto. I took the six star to rank three, I think. And I was planning to take the six star to rank four if I liked her, but I never got around to actually playing around with her. And then I pulled the seven star. I was like, okay, it's time. So I went through her kit, played around with her just a little bit in um, Realm of Legends. I'm sold. She is nice. She is very nice. Who is that? Roz Jebby. Was okay, Brooklyn kid. Brooklyn, our brothers. The Brooklyn Bridge, Beach Bridge. Y'all remember that one? Yeah. Anyway, y'all, y'all. If y'all know it, y'all know it. Let's see what is that? Wow. Done. Spend. Any money. Okay. Got it. I am free to play, by the way, so I'm already doing that. Just so y'all know. Anyway, it's actually coming up uh, to where I'm going to do a, an account tour and uh, give you guys a nice little look at my account. Uh, you'll be able to see all the different champs. Uh, and the rankings uh, that I have. So uh, that will be uh, probably the uh, first of the year. And shortly after that, you will see me uh, doing um, the uh, Necropolis. It'll come the first. It's going to be before January 15, but after January 1st. So sometime in between there is when I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm giving myself a little bit of time to see if I can get an egg on. If I can't, then it's going to be um, Kate Bishop, most likely. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.